Hi guys, so today I am going to speak to you about PCOS or PCOD, Polycystic Ovary Syndrome, um, like it's commonly known. I have been suffering from it for several years, um, since I was like 14 or 15 years old and um, it has been the bane of my existence. I have gone to several doctors, I have gone to several naturopaths, dietitians, nutritionists, etc. to kind of help myself and right now I'm in a good place and um, I thought I'd share my learnings with you guys. Now before I give you some of my tips, um, please run them by your doctor and if you feel like you're suffering from PCOD or PCOS. Tell your doctor that these are the things that I am going to do, should I or should I not do them. People have very, very different, different symptoms and everybody goes through their own struggles and um, their own various um, ailments and symptoms that they have. So everybody is a unique case, uh, but I am just talking from my experience. Tip number one, exercise. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to exercise, to walk. Uh, walking is something that has become an afterthought, almost something that we don't do anymore. Our lifestyles have become extremely sedentary and walking is one of the most natural things that one can do. Um, this is something I've learned the hard way and um, I walk now at least 10,000 steps a day. Another form of exercise that I would suggest is yoga. Yoga is something that makes you mobile, it makes you uh, strong and it also improves your cardiovascular um, ability uh, through Surya Namaskars etc, strength through Hatha Yoga etc. Um, so that is one of the best and all round exercises that I would suggest. Yoga has another element to it which is meditation and breathing exercises. Now, um, this comes to my second point. The second uh, thing that I feel um, actually aggravates PCOS is stress. And uh, whether it's environmental stress, whether it's mental stress or any kind of stress, stress is bad. And uh, yoga and meditation and breathing has actually helped me combat that. I'm sure you can find some app that helps you breathe or to meditate. Um, if you don't have a yoga teacher that you can find, um, uh, which I'm pretty sure you'll find very easily in India. The third thing, uh, which is very basic and I'm sure we all know, is that we have to avoid sugar. Now sugar is something that makes you feel good and then you come crashing down. Um, I have given up sugar completely. Um, refined sugar is poison. It's bad. It's awful. It's the worst thing that you can put into your system. It um, Nobody tells you. It, how bad it is but it's really 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 bad and I cannot tell you how my life has changed since I've given it up um, and I'm talking about not only refined sugar I'm talking about natural sugars as well honey maple syrup uh, good etc um, just stop having it you can get good sugars out of fruits um, low sugar fruits like and and like oranges and apples etc it's, it's important to just not have that component of sugar and I now after not eating sugar for such a long time I can't eat sweet things and I was an addict to like sugary drinks and um, chocolates and sweets and uh, desserts and now I find anything which has sugar in it too sweet and I, I find it very bad and me and I never thought I'd be there so that's another thing that I'd ask you to do is to give up sugar and refined sugar and um, those are the three tips that have really helped me um, I hope this helps you as well and if you have any questions um, please let me know in my comments and uh, I hope I can help you um, in any other way